Mike, what are some causes of anemia? Well, there's iron loss. Uh, so how do we treat that? Iron loss, generally we replace the iron. And you can do that through oral ways, through tablets, or you can do it intravenously if you're very anemic or if you can't tolerate the oral supplementation. How do you diagnose uh, one of the other causes of anemia? So, well, there's the B12 deficient, the large red fluffy cells the that MCV, are in large. The MCV, you said. The MCV, that's that right. Mean and corpuscular we, volume. And we can replace that through B12. So how, do you, how do you take B12? By mouth? We don't absorb B12 real well. So we generally do that through the muscles, through an injection, once a month. And once a month? Once a month. I normally load people up. I give them an injection once a day to build them up, usually for a week, and then once a month. And then the, you can also, you can do it subcutaneously. You can do it up through your nose. You can do an injection through your nose, uh, like a little squirt, or you can take it underneath your mouth sublingually. So there's lots of ways that we can replace the, the iron. How long does it take the anemia to go away if you're taking iron by mouth? Well, if you're taking iron by mouth, it's going to be several weeks. Generally, I tell people three to four weeks. Uh, and after three to four weeks, what does that person feel like? What's it like? Yeah, well, I'm sure it's got to be such a, a wonderful feeling to have your energy back and to not feel like you're tired all the time. Uh, what other kinds of, what about uh, sickle cell anemia? Well, sickle cell anemia, fortunately, we don't see very often. Yeah, almost so, never anymore. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, but if, when you have a sickle cell patient, we have treatments. We put you in the hospital. We give you lots of steroids, and we stop that reaction. So, and so there's so, treatment for there's treatments, any right. kind of blood loss anemia. That's right. Uh, anything I'm leaving out as far as the treatment of anemias and the different kinds? Well, some people develop kidney disease. And when you develop kidney disease, your, your kidneys make a, a special protein that goes to your bone marrow to tell you, look, it's time to make those red blood cells. What's that one so, called? Erythropoietin, so. Erythropoietin. So. That's right. And that tells the bone marrow to get to work. Get moving. Yeah. And so when we have kidney disease, we don't get that signal to the bone marrow. So in kidney patients, we can actually give injections once again, either subcutaneous or intravenous, and it'll stimulate the bone marrow to make those red blood cells again. So when somebody's got anemia and you have to treat it, there's almost treatment for every kind of anemia. That's right. And you can make the patient feel better. And if you're short of breath and your heart's pounding and you can't do what you used to do, then there's hope that your red blood cells will come back to normal. Absolutely. And that person will be able to live a normal, active rem. You know, that's what makes doctors want to go into medicine. And make people feel better. Yeah, Absolutely. it really is. So it must be a great feeling. Any example of somebody who had a real low hemoglobin and got better, and what did they come back and tell you, Mike? Yeah, absolutely. I, I just saw somebody last week, and she had terrible anemia. She was a young person from her menses that was losing blood, and we gave her an IV infusion of iron, and three weeks later, she felt wonderful.